Welcome to the Your Doom and Mom channel, and today we're going to be making a brand new series which involves recreating the entire TFL network. And eventually, after that, we will then be building every single national rail station inside of London. This series will go alphabetically down the list as we start off with B, the Bakerloo line. In case you don't know, we built the entire TFL network live on my Twitch channel. Which you can find here but this is just specifically for youtube and we're just recording it now hope you enjoy how uh, we're gonna do this is we're going to i actually already made a new game but we're going to be playing on new game unlimited over on london 2.0 it's completely blank there's nothing here now if you don't know the bakerloo line starts all the way up in harrow and it ends all the way down at elephant and castle but it's the shortest line i believe don't quote me on that. Maybe apart from like DLR or shit like that. I mean like the proper train lines. So we're gonna go up to Harrow. Go over here. We're gonna be creating a station. Um Okay, this, this is gonna let me cool. So I'm fairly sure the station actually starts like up there and it like goes all the way to like up out there ish. It's, it's roughly around 150 meters ish. I'm actually going to double check that on Google Maps. Google Maps is actually saying 120, but where I've got it in, like at the minute is actually correct. So the meters might be off as I meant, but I'm not too sure. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to start all the way up in the Harrow first. I'm just going to rename this to Harrow and Woods first. But what we're going to do is we're going to build Harrow and Woods on over there. And we're going to be just be placing in Kenton. I'm also just going to, for simplicity, just stick it as it normally is. Going to rename this one to Kenton. So we've got one continuous line all the way through from Harrow and Wilson to Kenton. I'm also going to curve this off here. And have it like go through like this. I'm gonna um, put this all the way down towards South Kempton, which is here. So as you know, we're just gonna stick as 150. And we're also gonna do this. I'm actually gonna like slightly fix up the track a bit as well. And that. So this is South Kempton. And the next station is. North Wembley, which is be somewhere around there. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is maybe put that more over there, so it's a bit quicker. But we'll see. The North Wembley. And now this line will continue to be going straight down. So you're gonna actually put it underneath the ground, like here. So I can actually build it underneath all of this bit here. So I think the platform starts around them. Not too sure. But I've been through North um, Wembley Central many times, so I know that it is just completely underneath all these shops and stuff. So now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start curving off the track. So Central Park is over here. Have it go through there. So I need to have kind of like do this because this here will be so Park Depot. And now we're just going to rename this to Stone Bridge Park. And then it's gonna just kind of like cut back in towards Halston, which will be. I've actually been to Halston Station before. It's not exactly like above ground, it's like underneath. 
I'm just gonna go right over here towards Wilson Junction. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put it like to here, like this. So when we build the overground, I can do the other platform above the station, and it should look fairly decent. Uh, but it's a Wilson Junction. Like that. I don't even rename Holson. Whoops. There you go. And it's like curves up and then comes back down. And it curves like back up and goes underneath to Kendall Green. Like that. And I'm gonna do it. Something like that. And then the Bakerloo line splits off and it goes on a separate own track over here and then joins back over at Queen's Park here, which does have multiple platforms. And I've just done this and like skipped over the fact that Harrow also has multiple platforms as well. And what I'm also going to do, I'm going to do this and have that cut off into there. And I'm also going to have like signal there. So if a train comes through it, it can go over into one of them. So this will be Queen's Park. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this continue up for the overground. I'm going to put this over here and have it go under the ground around about here I'd say. And start curving off because the platform is roughly around here. Shove it in here. I'm just gonna try and make that a little. We're gonna like snakes over like that. It probably isn't like this, but this isn't going to be 100% real. Oh, I think Queen's Park is actually uh, like two platforms, but it's like two item platforms. I'm not too sure. What's here is like that. A Kilburn Park there. And this will go around there. I'm actually going to drop it down to minus two. Mayor Vale is built roughly around here. I'm going to try put it like somewhere in the middle between like that. That's in the middle, is it? That's made available there. I'm just gonna do something like that. So it snakes its way back into the made available, and it goes to Warwick Avenue. So it's gonna like come out, and then I'm gonna put it as it follows this road. Warwick Avenue is around here. And Paddington's there, so I'm gonna put it like kind of in a straight line here. Something like that. Uh, Warwick Avenue. So what I'm gonna do here is Paddington's here. I'm also gonna put Paddington Station here. Just gonna like be underneath the main platform and curve around like that and then curve back up towards Edgware Road I'm just gonna redo that it's where Edgware Road is just here what I'm gonna do is I should put it there so at least when I build the circle it'll be just fine Edgeware Road and we're gonna go back out like this have that around there and then 
Baker Fruits just next door, it's just here. I'm gonna build it around just here. Do something like this. Maybe something like this. And then all the way down to Oxford Circus. And then Oxford Circus. Oh, Circle? What the fuck? I mean, yeah, it is. And then this is Regent's Park. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna stick it over here. Google Maps says it goes underneath this road and follows it. But I'm just gonna shove it there so it's a bit nicer. And it follows this road towards Piccadilly Circus. I mean, that would be the best spot to put it. I know in this game there is um specific stuff for like curving tracks, but honestly I'm not too keen on using it. And here with embankment, I'm actually gonna make it a bit off center, just so. Chan Cross can be its own separate station because it won't really like that. And then Waterloo would be roughly around here. Something like that. And from here, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna build a Lambeth station just here. Because it goes up here then down to Edifant and Castle. I'm gonna build it about there. I'm gonna have it curve up like this. And have this go up there. Around into Edifant and Castle. So that this will be Lambeth North, this one will be Elephant and Castle. When we do the Northern Line, we'll stick it through here and they will all match up and stuff, which will be nice. Um, so concurrently, it's saying 390 million. Okay, minus this bit of the track here. Roughly around 390 million to put the entire line. It's kind of not true, but this game is saying it. So what we're going to do is going to build all blueprints. I am also going to add a brand new line onto this called the Bakerloo line. I'm just going to shove the ticket prices five. What I'm also going to do is grab up the hex codes for this by which is B36305. Can copy that and paste it and. Boom, we have the official big blue line colours. But now we have to kind of like route it around. So we're going to start from up here and we're just going to shove it all the way down the line. Just like this. And use that Queen's Park. And just sneak our way just through the line. Just like this. And cycle back through. Just like this. I also believe I need to add in another signal over here at Queen's Park. Actually, no, I don't because the two lines don't connect, so it should just be fine. Don't really need to do much there. And that, well, if I do that, it's gonna break it. But just like that, that's now done. What I'm also actually gonna do is I'm going to just extend this line over like that. Just to make sure that 
bit for the overground is also done. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add some trains onto this. And luckily for me, because I have a lot of Steam Workshop stuff installed, I can scroll down. I'm going to purchase new trains for line. I'm actually going to use this one because it's a bit nicer and I'm going to do that. And as you will see, we have a couple trains on our line. Um, it is saying every seven minutes for the train, so what I'm actually going to do is add just like three more trains on. So then it should be every six minutes. And as you can see, we've got the Bakerloo line just completely running at the minute. With around 500, high 400, low 500 at 6 in the morning. Goes up to 1,400. Even here, 1,500, just a couple times. Shoots up to 2.5k max, which is actually kind of cool. Just like that. And what I like about this game is we can go into assets, we can go onto lines. We can see on its first day. Okay, this was like for a few hours, but the an official full day is 400,000 for the Bakerloo line, and that is now officially the entire Bakerloo line done. I, I might go through the schedule and stuff to make it like proper TFL times but we'll I'll have to do that another day but if you did enjoy the video make sure to like subscribe and make sure to also comment on things that you want me to improve on the video I will be making sure to do the central line uh, either next week or the week after join my discord and you will see when I upload videos and I will see you all next week for another video goodbye